Chef Daniel Eddie of Rebel Restaurant. What's up, Cap? <laughs> What's on the menu for today? We're gonna do a veal porterhouse. 23 ounces of deliciousness. Just a piece of meat and two dudes drinking wine. Exactly. That sounds amazing. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna kick it off. This is our, our cut right here. We're gonna keep it a bit rustico, not even bother uh, trimming it up, because you know, some of that fat is good on there. For sure. Season it on all sides. Uh, if you would be so kind as just pass me that oil over there. So take this right into the pan. We're gonna let that come up to temperature. In the meantime, we've boiled off some Kennebec potatoes, parboiled them. In that water, we get like aromats, so it really takes in that flavor. We take them and we crush them up with our hands and really get this like rustic look. Yeah, and look so then good. we're gonna get them into the pan after we take that veal out, cook them in, in that, that juice. In that juice. And what kind of potatoes did you say this were again? Kennebecs. They're like your workhorse potatoes. They're great. They have a certain amount of starch in them that helps to like really sort of like crisp them up. Uh, if you actually wanna get the parts Chop it. It's one let's of your skills. That, let's hope that none of my fingers wind up in it, though. No. This is the knife I'm going to use? This seems small. Uh, you know, make it work. <laughs> <laughs> so like, keep it as a rough chop. It's going to go into the potato, so it doesn't have to be anything of like great finesse. You just kind of want to slice it through so it's like you can almost smell it. Right. Well, I can smell it. I think you did a spectacular job. Most importantly, job. there's no blood on the parsley. No, not so. yet, but you still have the rest of that to cut. So, oh, uh, you're going to cut all of it? Yeah, oh come on, man. Gosh. Freshness. Cut the parsley, open the wine. You know, what? what, what you got to learn how to multitask in this, huh? <laughs> what else do I need to do? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to wash the dishes already too? <laughs> we can get a jump on them. We're gonna start with the fat cap right over here. See that? Just begin to sort of render that, some of that out. Why do they call that the fat cap? Well, because it's fat and it's on the cap, you know? It's <laughs> fucking rocket man, science. Man, oh man. I don't eat culinary school with you around, do I? I'm in good <laughs> no, shape. No, not at all. <laughs> so you said it's a veal porterhouse. Veal so porterhouse. Veal is obviously a baby cow. Baby cow. You know, Touch I, I... it, <laughs> pet it, stroke it. It's nice. Hit it up some more. And you don't want it too dark, right? You're just no, trying no, to get a nice golden brown. Golden brown, yeah. you know. There we go. Now we're going to hit the side of it. With oh, the look at that. Bam. Fucking beautiful, huh? <laughs> Got to play with it sometimes, lift it up, get those like little nooks that sometimes are difficult to get. Don't be afraid to apply a little pressure. It can handle it. Uh, you know, at this point, you can get a little bit of butter in there. Of course. Let's Why not, it. you Why know? Not? Get the little bit of thyme. A little bit less on rosemary, you know. Rosemary can become very overpowering, so. And really add the herbs just at the very end. Right. Now you smell all that? It smells pretty it good. Smells great. Huh? Look great. at the color, you see the color of the butter? Yeah. It's nice and golden brown. So then uh, we're gonna put it into this rack. So that's it, we're seared up enough. Seared up enough, go right into the oven. Oh, yes. So we're popping it in the oven. Pop it in the how, oven. About how long is it gonna go in the oven? Seven minutes in there, we'll flip it over, give it another seven until we get a nice uh, little mid rare. Now here we have our potatoes that we've parboiled. We're gonna get them into that same fat, and slow and low. Uh, I'm getting starting to get kind of thirsty, I as always. I was thirsty when we started. <laughs> <laughs> so I know that you're a big fan of natural wines. Hey, natural. Which is ideally wines that are made without any chemicals or herbicides or pesticides. So this is from the Loire Valley. Bellevue is, is the name of the producer, and this is Rouge Gorge, which is made from a kind of rare and ancient varietal called Pinot de Nice. Very herbaceous. When you say herbaceous, is there like a, a, a specific herb that like comes yeah, to mind? Yeah, it smells it like a few different herbs, but yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like with that, would you ever like focus on putting like more rosemary or it's, something? It's got herb, some rosemary softer. aromatics. Right. Actually, there's a, there's another herb that people often equate the, the okay. smell to, yeah. I mean, like all we need are some edible marijuana cookies with this wine, that's a perfect pairing, but you can see by the color, right? It's yeah. kind of got a rusty color to it. It almost looks like the color of the veal. Yeah. People often say it almost has kind of a rosé kind of color, right? It's like really light and clear. And smell it. it smells yeah. like rosemary and like which piney. Is like the, yeah, piney, which is like yeah. the rosemary also has a little bit of that note. So totally. We'll get more of the rosemary in the potatoes, so yeah. can maybe carry it through. It's not a wine you probably would want to consume a lot of on its own. Definitely not a rosé. I mean, that wine mm -hmm. is red wine. You can feel it has structure. And has a really spiciness. nice acidity too, because right. it's going to help cut all that, all the fat from the potatoes, yep. the fat from the, the jus. It's a little strange, but then again, it's so are we, so. <laughs> <laughs> so check out the potatoes now. See how we have like that butter and the fat that's like bubbling up. I love it. We can begin again to add a little bit of garlic in there. Uh, let's go into the oven. See where it's at. Flip this meat. We'll get it back in there for a couple more minutes. It's been, you know, seven minutes or so. We're looking good. We're gonna sort of stand it up just so all that heat disperses quickly and evenly. Awesome. So look at these potatoes now. They're beautiful. They're beautiful, right? Got some golden crispy bits. So we're gonna finish just cutting this uh, this onion here. At this point, you turn the temperature down a little bit because right. you just kind of want to soften them up a little bit. You want to. Uh, do the, the task of adding your beautiful parsley. Just dump it dump in there. Dump it right in? Make it as green as you want it. 
That's enough. I don't want to make. I don't want to make it too healthy. All no, right. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. <laughs> we're done here. The last thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of the secret sauce. Secret sauce is the veal jus. So veal jus we make from a veal belly, and we chop it up, roast shallots, honey, garlic, thyme, and the veal belly. And so we're gonna take that microplane over here, and we're gonna add a little lemon for that last bit of brightness. And you wanna do this off the heat because burnt lemon is not what we want. So, see a little bit of that sauce at the bottom of the potatoes? That's awesome. Here we go, in all of its glory, porterhouse. That's great. Oh, now check that out. Pass me that wine. <laughs> Look at that. It's, uh, Who needs a sommelier? That <laughs> color matches that color. You just need a five-year-old. Look at that. Beauty. There you go. Woo. Like a glove. <laughs> Beautiful. And then a little bit more of this veal jus over here. It's a little finishing salt. Yeah, remember we spoke about a little bit of pepper? Yeah. Also a little crunch. And uh, at that point, I think we're looking all right. All right. Well, let's bone a whirl. Yeah, right if I got you. Oh, the potatoes are the first thing? Oh. Oh, with the meat first. All right, go ahead. It's kind of all a happy marriage, isn't it, though? I don't think you can go wrong either way. That's great. Yeah, that's perfect. I mean, it's like such subtle flavors, you know, it's so pretty. Like, you don't think you would talk about that about a piece of meat, but it is yeah. kind of pretty. What I was saying earlier about how this wine is something that really is ideally better with, with food, because I feel like it kind of takes off some of the edge of this wine, where this still kind of keeps its focus, but it almost kind of makes it more delicate. Yeah, it's nice when they don't compete against each other, when yeah. actually it's like they come together. It's like For me, that's the better pairing. Yeah. When both things continue to be as great as they were before. That's a beautiful quote. Like everything in life, yeah. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>